Hi guys, it's Kelly here and I am back with another video. This card actually went up for Honeybee, Honeybee Stamps Blog Hop uh, yesterday, but I just didn't have time to get the video done. So this is from their new release, which is Autumn Afternoon. I'm using the uh, coffee bean background, the Treat Yourself Stamps and Dyes, the Latte Stamps and Dyes, and then the Hello Fall Stamps and Dyes. Lots of stamps and dies going on in this card. Um, I totally fell in love with the treat yourself. Not, what Do you hear my dog barking over nothing? Literally nothing. Nothing is happening to her. Anyway, um, the treat yourself stamp set I was drawn to immediately. You know I love all things coffee. Um, so in deciding out of all the beautiful things from the release what I wanted to use, that was like a number one. So since I love scene cards, I wanted to kind of put them on a countertop, but I wanted something interesting in the background. Enter the coffee bean uh, background stamp, which honestly may be my favorite part of the card. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I totally love it. I cannot wait for you to see it because it looks fantastic. Just totally love it. Um, so here, this is what I'm doing. I wanted it to be kind of like a cork board, um, like tack board that you could put little notes on. Um, I don't love the way my note came out, but that's kind of neither here nor there. It was already part of the card. I did what I could to fix it up to make it more tolerable for me. And then I just moved on with my life. But this is me framing out the uh, cork board. I do everything in pencil first and then um, go back in with pen. You'll see that. A couple of things to note about the video. So first things first, I ended up having to... <laughs> I ended up having to um, change my YouTube name yet again. Why? Because so many people do not realize that I have a different last name now. Oh, this is my little note here. That's a little piece of masking paper. And then I'm going to trace around that um, to give it an outline. So, so many people don't realize that I have a new last name. I'm not sure where all the rest of these where all the rest of you have been while well, we've been leading up to this wedding day, but my my new last name is Taylor. And a lot of people don't realize that. So since I changed it to just Kelly Taylor, um, so many people have been confused. I have gotten messages, things like that. So while we're in this transition period, I have left Latavola in the name. So Kelly Latavola Taylor. I'm not actually hyphenating my name in real life, but until we kind of get through this process and people realize that I am in fact the same person, um, I'm going to leave it that way for a little while. Second of all, my camera died. You guys know this from the last video, it just died mid video um, and that one is discontinued so I could not get another one. Several of you asked me on Instagram what kind of camera I did get, and I'm going to tell you that I got the camera that Amazon could get me in two days that was very reasonable because I had three videos that I needed to do this week. So, I don't even, I don't even think it has a brand. It says digital video camera, like literally on the side of it, that's what it says. So, I'm not really sure. Off brand, that's what it is. Um, that cost me only $60. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm using. Now, a little bit of a learning curve with the new camera. Um, so the first video that I did um, was for the all to new blog hop. And then when I got done, took all my pictures, everything out, uh, took my SD card out to upload my footage, there was no footage. There was no footage. Everything that it said it was recording, it was not recording because the SD card was not properly formatted. So that was what it was. There was no video there, even though there was an intent to be one. And then um, this one is now technically my first first. When I uploaded this footage, uh, even though it didn't look particularly dark on my camera, it looked relatively light. Uh, it was not as light as it used to be. So I kind of had to mess around in my settings for my editing um, to make it a little bit brighter. So there are going to be some spots that are kind of like hot spots that you'll see as the video progresses where it gets super bright in like one corner. And that's just because of that, because I had to alter the white balance after the fact. 
here's me masking. So now that I have everything drawn out, my countertop, my cork board, um, I am going to mask first around the cork board to color the inside of it and then um, around or inside the cork board to color the walls and then both of those to do the countertop. Let me just tell you, the only reason that I have to do all of this masking is because I chose to use Distress Oxides for my background, basically because I chose ink blending. If you want to do it with markers or with watercolors or with other, whatever other coloring medium, this is not necessary. This is only necessary because I like the smooth look of ink blending in my backgrounds. So that is why I choose to do it this way. You certainly don't have to, um, but it's one of the reasons why that cork board looks so cool with the coffee beans on it. Okay? Okay. So, uh, and why did I choose Distress Oxides? Just because they're a little bit softer than um, traditional Distress inks. And I haven't really used them in a while. And I like to use what is in my stash. So I thought, well, I haven't used these in a hot minute. I'm going to bust them out. Um, so that I can get just maybe a little bit of a different look. So I'm not being super careful about the blending, making sure that it's super smooth because I want it to look a little bit more textured. Um, at the end of it, you can't even tell that it's not blended smooth because of the stamping that we do on top of it. So there's that. Um, so the, light, the white balance, we talked about that, that it's just a little bit weird. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying to figure out what is gonna be the best option. I tried doing the white balance on the um, actual camera itself for my upcoming video. Uh, it looks overexposed to me, but I'm not sure, I cannot tell <laughs> if it's gonna be overexposed in the actual footage. So here for the background stamping, I find it easiest to leave my stamps face up and then flip my paper over on top of them. Normally I would put like a scrap piece of paper over the back of this to make sure I didn't get ink all over the place. But because I'm only rubbing just in the center because that's where I want the stamping to be, I'm not super you know, concerned about going over the edges. I don't need to stamp the edges. So, but can we look at this? Can we just look at how cool this looks? I mean, honestly, it is so fun. I'm gonna, I can, I'll probably have to do this like a bunch more times in a bunch of different ways, just because I super love the way that it looks. So now I'm gonna remove the masking. One thing to note, because um, Distress Oxides have pigment properties, they do stay wet a little bit longer. And especially on this masking tape, which is the post-it note masking tape, it's meant to, um, what's the word I want? It's meant to resist. It's meant to resist inks. So it is, it doesn't absorb in right away. Um, so it does leave them a little bit wetter. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are picking up your masks. Okay. So, um, yeah, so the, the, the camera thing is, it's just, it's a thing right now and I'm still trying to figure it out. So I hope that you all will bear with me while I try to do that. Um, I swear, it's if it's not one thing, it's another because normally it's my voiceovers that I have problems with and now I think I've got the voiceover thing relatively figured out and I'm having issues with my camera. A lot of people use their phones. My setup isn't for my phone, not to mention I don't have a ton of storage on my phone for videos. Um, so I would hate to get into a situation where like my phone was full, uh, but a lot of people have really good luck with that. If uh, you are interested, if you were asking about the camera because you're interested in doing your own videos. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, there was a comment that was left to me in the last video by a wonderful young lady who her, her message was literally, holy crap, take a breath unsubscribing. Um, please don't feel the need to announce your exit. I, which is exactly what I commented to her when she left her message. Um, because I am trying to fit so much into such a small amount of time. I do have a tendency to talk faster. I talk faster in real life. Um, one of the guys I worked with, uh, for years used to call my dispatching speed patching because especially when something is like exciting that is going on that needs to get out like right now I do tend to speak 
faster if that's an issue for you and you still would like to see the content um, by all means please feel free to mute the video so here this is all done now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the masks um, and then I'm going to start working on that note that I don't love here's why I don't love it because I didn't pay attention is basically what happened. Oh, here, any of my masks that were off that I might have some white showing, I'm just gonna go back in and hit it with a Copic marker. Um, you could definitely see it a little bit when it's wet, but once it dries, it blends in fairly seamlessly. Um, this is just me coloring in the um, framework with my Copics. So I didn't love the note because uh, I did not pay attention to the size of my stamps. So in this set, this treat yourself set, by the way, it's not yourself, it's yo self, Y-O self, treat yo self. Um, in this set, there's a bunch of little like extra accessories. There's like um, a little coffee beans and a little heart and I think there's a pumpkin in there um, just for you to kind of decorate your coffee cups, which is super cute. Um, so I decided that I was going to put a little heart with the coffee beans on the um, note and I thought that would be really cute. Here's the problem. They're the same size. So once I stamped the heart and then I stamped the coffee beans over them, um, you couldn't see the heart anymore. It didn't make sense and it just looked messy. So eventually I went ahead and outlined them in black, which helped a little, and then I actually extended the size of the heart. Um, in the final card, it's not as obvious uh, because I have a large sentiment that kind of sits over top of it. Um, but just for you, if you're making something um, that is similar, I'm not going to leave in the whole me working on the note because it's such a small part of the card and there really wasn't going to be anything that I could do to make myself happy with it. I could just make it pretty much tolerable, which is what I did. So there's that. Um, yeah, life has just been kind of crazy busy since we got married um, because we got married and then school started up for peanut um, and we went back to work right away. So yeah, just a lot going on. Um, as far as the wedding, I will try to get through as much of that as I can, <laughs> um, but I have a feeling there's gonna be like a part one and part two. So the number one thing that I wanted for my wedding, I think I told you guys that, was good weather, which I got in spades. It was the absolute most beautiful day. Um, it was like 77 and blue skies and sunshine and I am so grateful that it was um, just because like I don't I guess the thing you worry about most with weather is your pictures and I was kind of stumped for an indoor picture location because of corona. All of the places in our area that you would normally be able to take indoor pictures are like real businesses, um, like the courthouse and, and, you know, arcade and things like that. And most of them were not letting you in to take pictures because of COVID. So that was just something we had to deal with. Here, back to the card, I was going to originally stamp the leaves and then what I decided I was going to do is I was actually just going to stamp their outline and then die cut them. This made spacing a little bit tricky because I didn't really know how big the full leaf was going to be so I had to leave myself plenty of room to die cut them out um, and then I'm just going to stamp these in black as well. So um, yeah back to the the pictures so that was my big thing with the pictures plus my hair is naturally curly uh any sort of <laughs> wet weather or super humid weather um makes my hair go curly and that's not the look i was going for for my wedding day um so the night before peanut and i stayed with my mom and dad you know we live in a commune um, so that was really just right down the street. Eric stayed at home and his best man and his wife actually came up and stayed with us, um, in our spare bedroom because again, hotels, COVID, it's a thing. Um, not that they're not open, but some people just aren't comfortable and we have a spare bedroom. Plus it meant he wasn't going to be alone the night before our wedding. So I was totally cool with it. 
here in the card I'm just I picked out some distress oxide colors and um, I'm just kind of blending them for fall leaf colors. I didn't end up loving this uh, but I have a fix for this as well. Um, moving right into the coloring. Oh another thing about the video that I'm noticing now. Um, first of all it's a little bit sped up. The coloring is sped up because um, I just it was a longer video and in order to keep it a somewhat reasonable amount of time I had to speed this portion up. Um, so it's all included but it is just at a little bit of a faster pace than we would normally do. If you have any specific questions about what I did um, please feel free to leave them below. I will uh, answer them as soon as I can. I am I do answer all of my own comments myself so sometimes depending upon where I'm at it might take me a little longer to get to them. So he stayed here at the house um, with Albert and Lindsay and Nathan and I went to my mom and dad's. Here's the problem with that. Women have more things to move than men do. Like you need more items. Like basically if Eric had to go stay at somebody else's place he would need a change of clothes, his toothbrush, maybe a razor if he was feeling like it, and um, like shampoo slash body wash and he's pretty much good to go. That's not the case with me trying to get ready for my wedding. Oh, the camera thing. Look, I'm like a squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. The camera thing is um, I'm also working on the sharpness because I don't think that those um, colors are real legible when I'm showing them on the screen. They just look softer than I want them to um, so that you guys can read them. So just for your own knowledge, the um, purplish pink coffee mug is an R52 or RV52, RV55, RV66, and RV69. The green is my usual go-to yellow green, YG01, YG03, YG17, and YG67. Everything will be linked below. Um, but just in case you're wondering while you're watching what they are. A lot of people have asked me before why I don't show the caps, like take them off and set them down. The reason that I don't is because I turn my paper so much and I inevitably knock them over and it just ends up being a bigger pain in my tushy than I want it to be. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, we're crazy today. It's just kind of crazy all over the place. So I packed up all of my things or I thought all of my things. I think I had to come back to the house like two different times. Once because I forgot my allergy meds and once because, oh no, one, just one time. I just had to come back one time. But the other problem that I had was when I went for my hair trial, I had this super cute little crown headband. It was gold, um, it had rhinestones in it, and that's what I was wearing in my hair. But when we did my trial, we found that the headband portion with the combs in it was far too big for my head, just huge. This is E50 and E53. Um, it was just way too big. So the I asked the hairstylist, I said, do you want me to just cut off the combs? Can you secure it in there without um, the combs? And she said, yeah, if you can cut them off, cut them off. So I had intended on doing that. I just forgot about it. And so like day of, I'm packing up all of my things, um, you know, all my jewelry, my bra, my hair piece, my veil, like the whole deal. And... Um, I realized that I never cut them off. So I am out in the garage. Lindsay graciously comes out there to help me to try and figure out, like we tried sawing them off. We tried um, like, what, what was the other thing? We tried sawing them off, that didn't work. We tried something else. Eventually we just ended up like br literally breaking them off. So bending the metal back and forth so many times and eventually it snapped. And then I sanded it with 80 grit sandpaper so it wouldn't like lacerate my scalp. And then that's what, that's what we did. That's what I wore. So I went back to my mom and dad's night of and uh, Peanut just would not go to sleep. I don't know if he was just excited about the wedding or because he typically when he spends the night at my parents house um, colors here E55, 57, and 59. So he typically sleeps with my mom because she spoils him rotten because that's what Nana's do. Um, oh we're gonna have a bark fest because somebody just rang my doorbell. Who rang my doorbell? We'll never know. Well we'll know in whatever, 10 minutes when I'm done with this voiceover, but nonetheless. Um, so 
he usually sleeps with my mom, um, so I don't know if it was like sleeping in the bedroom by himself, but it was like after midnight before this child would go to bed. And all I kept thinking was what a nightmare the next day was gonna be for the both of us because we didn't get any sleep. <laughs> um, so eventually um, we did get to go to sleep. I had a little package with a card on it from Eric and my mom told me I was forbidden to open it until the morning um, because it was a surprise for the morning of my wedding day. I also had gotten him a little something and had just written him a note and left it um, on his dresser. So his was like, so next morning I wake up eight o'clock in the morning. Thank goodness I got up on time, um, got up and I opened my little gift and read my letter, which I got to tell you the letter, the gift was great, but the, the letter was so much more. Um, it was, it was a wonderful way to start off our wedding day. And so our, my wedding gift was a sign that said, um, the first day, which was the date of our first date, which if you guys remember was my birthday. And then, um, the, yet the yes day, which was the day we got engaged, which was December 20th. And then the best day, which was our wedding date. And I totally love it. It's wonderful. I can't wait to find it a little home in our house. Do you know what I bought him? Any guesses? Any guesses? I bought him underwear. That's what I bought him with like cute little sayings on there. Um, and just because I thought it would be like a fun little gift that he would appreciate. So I had him custom made with little sayings on them. And um, he did like them. He did think they were cute, but I don't think our gifts were in the same league. You know, it just was what it was. So then from there, I'm up and at it in the morning, got Peanut up so I could see him before I left. I leave him in the fine care of his papa, my father, and then we go to get our hair done. Everybody is there uh, at nine o'clock. Um, I had a nine o'clock appointment and then so did my mom. Um, and then from there, everybody just kind of fell in line. I had previously talked to the hair place um, and because when they left me the message, they told me we weren't gonna get out of there until 1245. Well, I was getting married at two, y'all, and it was 30 minutes away. So I was like, 1245 is not a thing. That's not going to be a thing in our lives. Um, so we're going to have to get them out earlier. So we ended up like finagling and, and moving some things around so that we could get out of there in a timely fashion. Because the one thing Eric asked me to do was be on time for our wedding. Because I'm not on time for anything. So he was like, please, 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 please be on time for our wedding. So, um, get in there, get my hair done, get um, everybody else's hair done. I had already decided um, that I was just going to do my makeup and things at the hair place. They had like a little room we could use because there was all of this back and forth between do I go to my parents to get ready or do I come home to get ready because Eric and the boys would be out of the house by 11. So I was worried that if I went to my mom's to get ready, but then had to come home to get dressed, that I wasn't gonna, and then, well, then I would have to go back so I could take a picture with Graham, um, that the back and forth, I was going to be running late. So I decided I'm just going to do my makeup at the hair place. And then that way, all I have to do is get dressed. And then on the way out the door, I can hit up my parents' house to take a picture with Graham. So, um... Here, I told you, remember, I didn't like the Distress Oxide colors. They were just a little bit too pale for what I had going on. So I'm just going to go right over those with my Copic markers. People have asked me before, you can color over Copics with Distress, you know, color over Distress Inks or Distress Oxides with Copics. I always have. I have never had an issue, um, but it is your own investment. So understand there are some things that can clog your Copic markers. They, I'm not sure if this is one of them, but I have been coloring over my Distress Inks and Distress Oxides since I got my Copics um, and since Oxides came out and I have never had an issue, but please make your own decision. Um, so got my hair done. Well, this is my sisters. <laughs> I love them. This is just me being funny. Um, my best friend and my uh, junior bridesmaid, who is my goddaughter, um, were dropped off. She was like, so I don't have to come back out to Brunswick to get my car. Will you, um, can you drive us back? Cause you'll have your car seat. And I was like, yes, absolutely. And then my other girlfriend, Angie also was dropped off. So she also needed to ride to the house. 
So I figured, like, everybody's going back to the house. I somebody would be able to to give them a ride I could take uh Daedra and Alexa with the car seat so my mom and my sister Kimberly get done and they're like hey we're gonna leave we're gonna go um back to the house to start getting ready and I'm like okay see you later then um my other bridesmaid Amy who lives next door to my parents she's been my childhood friend my basically my entire life um she was like hey I'm done I'm gonna you know go um she didn't even have a bra y'all day of my wedding she ain't even got a bra um <laughs> so she's like I'm gonna head back to the house and figure out this situation and get ready okay my sister Michelle gets done and she's like all right if you don't need me I'm gonna go get ready at my house and then I'll meet you at your house so everybody pieces out and it's just me Ange, and Daedra left they're the last ones getting their hair done well I'm the only one with a car so I cannot leave until they are done. <laughs> so I end up being the last one to leave the salon to come home to get dressed. So then once I got back here, um, and my photographer, her name's Lindsay, she was a total rock star, took like all of my, I had all my accessories with me in my car, obviously, because I'd taken them with me um, to my parents to... Uh, the salon to now going to be back to my house and she was out there like in the grass laying out her white blazer to take pictures of my accessories she was so adorable I don't have those pictures back yet but I cannot wait to see them um, she really was totally great so we leave we get back to the house the photographer follows us back to the house um, and then it's like time to start getting ready getting dressed all of those things um, so I'm going to leave you there with that and then we will pick up there getting back to the house like see we're going to section this off into sections so you all get a real good feel for how the day went <laughs> the very full very long very fast day um, so back to the card is basically just me um, putting everything together uh, I did mix some foam tape with uh, doing some flat pieces with just glue but I am adding a shadow underneath everything because in making a scene card you want everything to make sense and they would in fact have a shadow on the countertop so I'm just um, using a c5 and a c7 to do that um, I'm not really blending them out too much I don't I guess I just didn't feel like they needed it I felt like they looked fine unblended um, and then once those are done, I'm going to add glitter to the um, whipped cream. Isn't that like the cute, aren't these the cutest little coffee cups? They're so cute. Um, and then to the leaves as well. The last thing that I did was go in with my pen and just kind of extend these lines out. This was my own doing because remember, I didn't stamp the full leaf. I just chose to die cut them out. So they look too large for the lines but that's was because of what I did so this is it this is the whole card thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me and I will catch you on the next video we'll pick up right where we left off bye